welcome to our youtube channel today we are going to look at some of the things that we may possibly not consider when preparing cost analysis for installation of cable trays cable trays are mechanical support systems that provide strong structural support systems to cables for electrical power distribution controls and communication they are made of galvanized steel, stainless steel, and aluminum. Specifying the design or type of cable trays to be used for any particular project is done by the design engineer. This also depends on the size of cable and the number of cables per channel. We have wire mesh cable tray, channel cable tray, and ladder cable tray. These are the different joint connectors for cable trays who have elbows with different degrees, cross and T's. Apart from getting the cable trays and the, all these installation accessories, we need to consider some other items as additional installation and material costs. If you are to install your cable trays at height, you will need lifting equipment and in some cases you may need to set scaffolds or man lift for your workers. You will also need a welder who should be readily available for fabrication of joint connectors. This is because there is no guarantee that someone can get joint connectors with required shapes and bend degrees from the market. So after welding the joints, you will need to paint the welding joints with aluminum paint or any other approved top finishing coat in order to avoid corrosion. Cost of buying steels for fabrication and installation of supports and brazers for the cable trays that we consider separately. We have explained a few things that should be considered for the cost analysis, but based on your project's requirements, you can add other necessary things that may increase your running cost, thereby reducing your profit margin. Thanks for watching and have a great day.